Hey, welcome to Plan Free. You found us. And just on time, we know you've been curious as to what the cost of living is in Guatemala, specifically around Lake Atitlan, Guatemala. So we've got you covered. If you've joined us in this video, we've got uh, the lowdown on what rents are, transportation, cost of food, internet, all those kind of things. So you're in the right spot. If you're anything like us, you might be most interested in food. And we're definitely going to have a meaty section on that. So stick around till the end of the video. Yes, we'll start right now with rents. They really vary. In fact, when we were still home in Canada, we did a search to come and stay on Lake Atitlan in one of the surrounding towns, because there's many different towns around the lake. And the prices were um, a bit shocking, 1500 Canadian for a month. And I decided to do another quick search about a month later, and this apartment that we're in right now popped up. We are paying 3,400 quetzales per month, which is the equivalent of $600 Canadian. One tip for you on searching for rents here in Guatemala or anywhere you go, if you happen to be savvy in Spanish, you should add yourself to the local Facebook groups, the Spanish speaking Facebook groups and search for rental space that way. You'll likely get much better deals because our initial search process is almost always Airbnb, which is coincidentally mostly uh, most of the time the most expensive. Most expensive for sure. You can start to join those groups in an area before you even arrive and keep your finger on the pulse of what's coming up available. I think what we use Airbnb for, Airbnb for is to get our feet on the ground. We book a week or 10 days and then we want to make sure the place is what it looks like online and then most of the time uh, God is with us. We we arrive in the area and the place is beautiful and then we make a verbal arrangement and get a, a much better deal that way. Once we're on the ground in an area, we also meet and talk to people who have places for rent and that's an excellent way to get a better value. Well, we'll touch a little bit on transportation and this is sort of multi-layered because there's transportation within San Pedro La Laguna where we're living. There's transportation from Guatemala City Airport to the town. We decided to hire a private driver because at the time we came there were um, manifestaciones, what's the word? Protests. <laughs> Protests Basically. for the local people who are protesting the government changeouts and so many roads were blocked and we're like, oh my goodness, let's not mess around with a bus being possibly held up on the highways. So we just hired a private driver and it turned out awesome. Uh, we ended up paying 700 quetzales, which is about $120 Canadian for a one-way ride. However, this man was amazing. He knew all the roads because he lives on the lake. He knew if this one was blocked, he'd call ahead and a buddy was telling him, no, 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 don't go this way. And he would know which bypass routes. So he got us here without one stop, one pee break. That's all we took. Mm -hmm. um, and, and he got us basically straight here in five hours. So that's the price of a private driver. And then once you're in San Pedro, there are little tuk-tuks to take you around town because the the towns here are all built in a in a big deep valley the lake itself is 1100 feet deep something like that it's very deep super deep so uh, as you're walking up the roads to go anywhere it's it's uphill and if you're compromised have bad knees or older or just plain out of shape you can take a tuk tuk they are about five quetzales per ride 80 cents canadian mm -hmm. since moving and living here now we know the cost of a bus i guess they're called a colectivo but they're like a big old school bus painted all kind of funky colors um, they're really jazzed up to go from town to town you can pay a little bit less but it's 60 quetzales to ride from san pedro la laguna all the way back to the big city, Guatemala City. Had we known that and there were no protests, we may have lugged on our big luggage from the airport and just take, taken a 60 Quetzales ride to get here. On the way back, when we leave this area, we're probably gonna do that. Yeah, for one tenth of the price and no protests, that might be worth the savings. The way to go, yeah. Uh, if you've been following our channel for any amount of time, you know we spent six months in Ecuador last winter and we logged about a thousand bus hours. So busing in these countries is not new to us. We'll share with you now the prices of the primary transportation method between the little towns that are scattered all the way around the lake at Tietlan here and that is by boat or ferry and if you're a local you've got one price yeah. most of us watching this video aren't local so we'll just talk to you about that price 
When we went down to the docks, it was going to be 25 quetzales to go from San Pedro to Panajachel, which is kind of like the biggest town on the opposite side of the lake. So I guess that'd be a little over $6 Canadian. Right, and it leaves San Pedro and it stops in Santiago, and then it continues on to Panajachel. So that's a one-way ticket. We thought, oh yeah, let's go to Panajacha. We'll do a big shop. There's bigger grocery stores in that town. We're like, yeah, yeah, we'll stock up. And then we realized it's like, it's gonna be like 12 or $15 one way to go, shop all day, get all tired, and then like 12 to $15 to come back again. We thought, oh, we're getting everything we need in this little town, which we'll talk about at the end when we talk about food. So we probably won't even bother cost of internet if you rent locally it's included but for some of you maybe you're looking to set up permanently as an expatriate the cost of internet can vary from about 120 quetzales all the way up to 300 quetzales so there's a variety and that's based on your your megabytes download speed ours is the 200 quetzales plan which is about 35 Canadian a month what a steal we were so surprised we paid like a hundred and something 125 back home so we're like 35 dollars a month is a great deal mm -hmm. and how's the speed when we first got here several of our websites and things we wanted to do were slow to not working but it seems like the through cookies or whatever the internet and the computer would start to kind of learn each other and become familiar mm -hmm. our stuff started working mm -hmm. better after a while and now we rarely even have uh, any issues with the speed. At first we considered upgrading our plan here, yeah. paying the difference, but now I think we're just gonna stick with the basic plan that comes with. Yeah, and I've been using an uh, online phone system to call and run my business and calling the moms on their birthdays and stuff like that, and that's all going through fine. Email's super fine. We even stream and watch some Netflix movies. Those are fine. The only real issue is the hockey games. Mm. We try to stream an audio radio program, I guess it is, from right. back home, and it's a little sketchy, but we, we get the gist of it. Yeah. So I can even upload my foot modeling videos to TikTok, no problem. <laughs> I'm your only fan. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're not planning to move here permanently, but some of you might be, and uh, we did not get this information fully yet, but by the time this video is released, I might have the figures for you. So please take a moment and ask us in the comments and we'll reply back to you. But you might wanna know, okay, for an average home in San Pedro La Laguna, Lake Atitlan, Guatemala, what's a water bill? What is an electric bill? And we will provide you with those figures. Hey, if you're getting value from this video, now's a great time to press the like button. Add yourself into the comments below. Click subscribe and the blue bell icon so you always know when our next video is coming out. All right, another house expense that you might incur, perhaps it's included in your rent, but if it's not and you need to refill your propane uh, gas tank for cooking, it's 150 quetzales. So that comes to about 25 or 26 Canadian dollars. Well, here in Guatemala, they have a service for laundry. Many apartments don't have a machine. You can take it to a service. And they charge 10 quetzales per pound. And I brought in a pretty good size load, like several pants and shirts and underwear. So it was a good size load and it cost 50 quetzales for that load, which was about $8.25 Canadian. All right, if you want to head to the dentist, like we often do when we travel to these countries, we usually go right away for a nice cleaning. Uh, the dentist office that we went to here in San Pedro La Laguna was wa within walking distance from our home and each cleaning cost us 150 quetzales, which is again, 25, 26 Canadian dollars per cleaning. Another item for us cost-wise is we joined a gym. The monthly cost of the gym is uh, 100 quetzales, which is about $16 Canadian each of us per month. And the gym is adequate. It's uh, right out of the 1950s. <laughs> so if you're used to a super modern plush gym, you have to scale back your expectations a little bit. But when was the last time you paid $16 a month to be at the gym? Totally. It's well worth the tripping hazards and the dust and all that jazz. <laughs> Next item, men's haircut, which I got yesterday. Wow. Yeah. And I think I paid 30 quetzales, which is five Canadian dollars. And I think I easily look like seven. <laughs> and I was curious to know how much a women's would be. Women's haircuts are 50 quetzales. That's about nine Canadian dollars, I guess. Yeah. Just for giggles, I also looked into how much acrylic nails would be, a facial and a pedicure. Acrylic nails is at 100 quetzales, which is about 1750 ladies to get your nails done. A facials are 175 quetzales, about 30 Canadian dollars. And the pedicures were 150 quetzales, which is about 25 or 26 dollars. Well, you might be able to see behind us a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Uh, it's become a weekly expense because it's so inexpensive here. The first bouquet we bought was something like 
10 quetzales and then the next one was 30 quetzales and then this one was a little bit more about 50 quetzales so you know the expense is just so minimal here if you like to have a nice bouquet of flowers which is kind of nice like our first bouquet was about a dollar fifty canadian and then it went up to about three dollars and then five dollars and this one is about eight or ten dollars to give you a comparison so it's really nice let's talk now about the food and drinking water um, an expense that we have to incur ourselves is our drinking water and it's the big fat blue five gallon uh, water refills and if you take your own jugs into the store they charge you eight quetzales per five gallon jug to change it our family does it as a courtesy and carry it in and out for us so it's 10 quetzales per jug which is not a big deal so i think that's about a dollar 75 canadian per jug of drinking water and we go through about two two and a half a week so under five dollars more like three dollars canadian to drink fresh filtered water mm -hmm. all right so we'll touch on a whole bunch of food items here and try to give you um, a realistic cost of living for eating in your home we bought ground beef which was 32 quetzales per pound about five dollars and sixty cents canadian we bought some chicken legs and chicken thighs we bought about five big legs and then we bought about three big thighs and each of those was 40 quetzales which was about seven dollars kind of maybe sort of on par with canada to be honest pork chops for example were about 24 quetzales per pound some of the dry goods we bought was a small little loaf of whole grain bread which was 2.5 quetzales that's only 44 cents for a little bun that you could make like a, a hoagie sandwich or something with. Hamburger buns, you can buy them here for 1.25 quetzales each, which is about 22 cents. They do go up in value if you start to shop for some of these things closer to the uh, boat launches where all the tourists come in off the boats. But we're living a little bit out of town and away from the big main central market. So we're getting super local prices. You should be able to find them for 22 cents per bun. I buy white flour to try to make uh, loaves of sourdough bread and per kg it's 10 quetzales. White rice, for example, is six quetzales per pound. We bought a huge imported peanut butter and that was our maybe our most expensive item. It was 55 quetzales for the big kilogram of peanut butter, which is about $9 Canadian. Anything local is gonna be cheaper than you're used to. Generally, anything imported will be more expensive than you're used to. Yes, for sure. Eggs is a staple in most people's homes and we have found the price for one egg, 1.5 quetzales. We buy them in the flat of 30 and we have seen the price range as low as 40 quetzales for 30 eggs, as high as 46 quetzales, which is under $8 Canadian for 30 eggs. Comparable but a little bit lower than back home. They do have olive oils for purchase here, but again, imported. So I've actually gone back to a, just a vegetable oil and for about a liter, I have been paying 19 quetzales to 22 quetzales. Stuff like condiments are kind of rare. You can find your ketchup and your mustard and your mayonnaise, but fancy sauces are quite hard to find. I did find a soya sauce and it was 12.5 quetzales for the bottle. I found mayonnaise in a squeeze bag and it was also 12.5 quetzales for the bag. Ketchup comes in a range of sizes, but I got a really, really small one just to have a little bit in the fridge and it was very cheap at 4.5 quetzales. There's actually a secondhand store or two in San Pedro La Laguna and I went in to get a little cookie sheet because I have an oven. The baking sheet cost me 30 quetzales, which was $5. So it was a pretty good deal. You can find all kinds of stuff for your kitchen wares and clothing and stuff at the secondhand store. For some reason I have this included in my food list, but I don't know why it is. It's a plastic chair, like a little, like a deck chair, plastic chair. This apartment came with one of them, but we often like to sit together, go figure. So we were gonna buy the house another plastic chair and we found them at the local market for 45 quetzales. That's under $8 Canadian for a molded plastic chair, which to me is an unbelievable deal. I feel like back home you're paying 30 or $40 at a Home Depot or Lowe's for a chair like that. That's just me. Anyways, all right, back to food and house supplies. Listerine is something that we keep in our bathroom uh, gear and we were very surprised to find Listerine here for 35 to 40 quetzales for the 500 milliliter bottle. That's over $6 and almost $7 Canadian for like a small mouthwash. Kind of surprising. Mm -hmm. So if you want to stink it out, you probably <laughs> save a few bucks. Just buy toothpaste. Okay, bottle of wine, and you can maybe talk on this air. Uh, uh, we do like a bottle of wine to enjoy here and there, and we found a couple of varieties, the Apothic. Yeah, okay, so to sum it up, spoiler alert, we haven't bought any wine. Um, we like a sweeter type, Cabso type blend, the Apothic we drink frequently. 
but not crazy frequently. Like we don't have a problem frequently. <laughs> no. Uh, in Canada, and, and we pay like twelve dollars a bottle for that, ten dollars a bottle. Yeah. We priced it out here, and it's thirty-eight dollars to forty. Canadian. Yeah, so it was crazy. Imported. Now the local-ish type wines would be Chilean, and we don't really have a palate for that. We find those a little bit woody and a little bit dry. Um, just another variety of wine that we looked at was a white wine, slightly on the sweeter side, called Moscato. And it was 75 Quetzales, which is about, uh, what, $12? Yes. Yeah, so that was a reasonable deal. But uh, because of the pricing and the fact that we don't like Chilean wines, we have not bought wine yet. No, I Rum mean... is a good deal here, though. All right, fruits and vegetables. I went shopping with the lady who rented our house, her and I together. She was right there in front of me and just bought her pound of local apples for five Quetzales, and he wanted to charge me six Quetzales for the same amount. So it's kind of annoying but at the same time you guys like 60 cents more for the same pound of apples isn't going to break the bank but it, it's just sort of principle i'm the same human being i would love to get the same price mm. anyway as a quick aside if you've been following this channel for any amount of time you know that we travel internationally six months a year every year for 12 years wow. guatemala from all the countries that we've lived in are the most active and uh, basically out in front as far as two-tier pricing. So they've got pricing for locals and then they've got a separate higher price mm -hmm. for uh, tourists, which I think is short-sighted. I don't think that's going to do them any favors in the long term, but that's the way they're running things. Not on all items, but quite a few of the times they're just yep. going to outright lay you with the gringo price. It's true, and I'm actually wondering if that's a Lake Atitlan thing. Mm. You, ha you should know that if you come to this area, it is touristy. Our town is known for Spanish schools, so all the whiteies come over to try to learn Spanish, and so there's a, there's a big influx of transient, only here for a short time group of people, and then they leave again. So perhaps short-sighted, but I'm wondering if it's, if, if it's this area. Like, what if we lived in Quetzaltenango, which is the second biggest city in Guatemala, which would not be touristy at all. It's where the universities are. So maybe it's different in other parts of the country, but right here in Lake Atitlan, we have felt it. Some of the other things we buy on a regular basis are bananas. Well, you can look for some bigger, fatter ones, and then you can get some kind of scrawnier looking little ones. Doesn't matter which one you find, they're about one Quetzales per banana. So if you buy a bunch of 12, 12 Quetzales. We buy tomatoes pretty frequently. Those are about, depending on the size, because they range from four, five, or six Quetzales per pound. And they're kind of a Roma tomato. Mm -hmm. All right, Air was amazingly Hawkeyes in the market the other day and found like the only bunch of kale and it was beautiful. It was five Quetzales, so pretty good deal, I would say, under a dollar for a big bunch of kale. A couple of times in the market I've spied, they call them lychees here or lychees, depending on how you pronounce it. In fact, they're rambutan, if you're familiar with that. But anyway, they're part of the lychee brotherhood of fruits and we <laughs> like them quite, quite a bit. And they are charging us two lychees or rambutan for one quetzales. So for one Canadian dollar, you get 12. Not bad. Is that really the price? Yeah, I didn't just make that up. Pineapples are pretty special and they taste totally different in warm climates where they're actually grown, right guys? Yeah. yeah. We bought a pineapple good size. They range if they're a little bit smaller to a little bit bigger, the price changes, but a nice medium good size pineapple is six quetzales. That's about a dollar. Cheap. Okay, everybody's favorite, coffee. Well, when we were in Guatemala City, we stopped at a grocery store and popped in really quick to grab a bag and we paid 60 quetzales for that. Kind of like as a backup in case we ran out. And we ended up opening the bag and it was delicious. Uh -huh. Then we ran out of that. It was about one pound or so? It was about a pound, yeah. 60 quetzales. So, you know, paying a grocery store price. But now fast forward, because we're giving you cost of living for here, San Pedro La Laguna. And we bought some coffee beans from our house owner. His family has been growing and picking coffee for a long time and we're actually gonna make a video on that. And we bought about, oh, maybe, it's like a kilo. It's pretty good, it's like more than a pound. Mm. Two pounds of roasted, uh, medium roast coffee beans from him and he charged us 30 quetzales, $5-ish. Yeah. And then we priced out some other coffee in the market. We walked all the way into the central market and the ladies were there selling ground coffee in about a pound and it was 20 quetzales for ground coffee. Mm -hmm. A couple other vegetables, just in case you're curious to know kind of prices. I bought a head of purple cabbage, a little bit smaller one, and the man charged me five quetzales, 80 cents Canadian for that. Carrots, for example, are huge here. I don't know what they're doing to grow them, but they are literally enormous. Mm -hmm. 
and they charge you about two or three quetzales for one carrot. It's, it's a really good deal. There might be some items you were hoping to hear about that we didn't get a chance to discuss. Mm -hmm. That's okay because we're here for quite a while yet. <laughs> Go ahead and leave those items and ask about them in the comments below and we'll do the best we can to get you the answers and the costs on those for you. Yeah. Well, maybe you're like us and you like to compare the cost of living in various places around the globe. We've got you covered there too and we recommend you watch this video next. Anyway, uh, where's all the fruits and vegetables? Oh.